This is an Arizona's Family News Update. Good morning, everyone. I'm Tess Raffles. Here's a look at the latest stories we're following from the Arizona's Family Newsroom. A state lawmaker sounds off after a suspected street racing crash takes a life. Officers say the driver was 18 year old Felix Cardoza. Police say he was street racing his Audi on the 51 freeway Tuesday night when he lost control and crashed. State Senator Paul Boyer argues his new legislation aimed at stopping street racing might have prevented this from happening. It breaks my heart because uh, if we had something in place, like, like my law, I mean, this, this kid could be alive today. Investigators spoke with the other driver that was racing, but no word yet if any charges have been filed. Meanwhile, Phoenix police are looking into the death of a couple found inside a home near 43rd Avenue in Cactus. Investigators tell us family members hadn't seen the couple who were in their 30s and 40s and came to check on them. That's when they made the gruesome discovery. No word on how they died, but we've heard it doesn't look like they're, the police are looking for any suspects at the time. A new jail in Maricopa County, the intake transfer and release facility near 28th Avenue in Watkins replaces the Durango Jail and officials say it's a pretty big deal because of the efficiency it now provides. So suspect booking, courtrooms, probation, health care and jail cells now all take place under one roof. The Maricopa County Board of Supervisors approved $185 million in funding back in 2015 for the project. Happy Thursday, I'm meteorologist Kim Quintero. We are tracking the warmest day of 2020 so far happening today. Here's a breakdown of your day hour by hour. Pretty mild start this morning with temperatures in the 50s, 9 a.m. right around 59 degrees. By noon, we bump it up to 74 and by 4 o'clock, our first 80 degree day of the year. 81 is that forecast high. We'll keep skies generally sunny and by 7 o'clock, a beautiful evening to have dinner on the patio, 72 degrees. The clouds do thicken up on Friday, a mostly cloudy day with a high of 79 degrees. Then by Friday night, showers start to move in as we are tracking a trough that's going to move through our state Saturday. The first day of spring training an 80% chance of rain and storms. We could pick up anywhere from a quarter of an inch to three quarters of an inch of rain. We could uh, see a few more showers Sunday morning, a big cool down to the 60s this weekend. All right, thank you, Kimmy. For updates on more stories we're following, you can download our app and subscribe to our YouTube and Roku channels. I'm Tess Raffles. Have a great Thursday.